I'm Robert Mullins. I'm a correspondent for Network Computing, as well as for a sister publication called Information Week. And if any of you have visited the site yesterday, we posted a number of stories about open flow and uh, software-defined networking. The headlines range from the biggest thing since Ethernet to open flow's impact the industry debate rages. So I guess we're at a nascent stage of this technology. It's still kind of sorting itself out. The focus of today's uh, presentation is um, SDN for data center networks, technology, applications, and markets. And so what we're going to do is have our gentlemen here assembled this afternoon give a presentation of their particular topic uh, under this title of uh, SDN for Data Center Networks. And then uh, we will take Q&A questions from the audience. Uh, I might throw in a few myself. But let me begin by introducing the panel. Um, to my left is Igor Gashinsky, a principal architect at Yahoo, where his responsibilities range from overall network design, including highly resilient data center and backbone switching and routing architecture, peering strategy, MPLS design, and L47 load balancing to distributed and scalable content delivery methodologies, DNS architecture, and R&D into future technologies. The title, of his, the title of his presentation is Warehouse Scale Data Centers. To his left is Rainer Weidman, excuse, is it Weidman? Weidman, Weidman excuse me. Um, he started at Deutsche Telekom in 1996 as a system specialist for mission critical applications. Three years later, he took over the regional responsibility for data centers. Today, he's responsible for the Data Center 2020 project and for DC innovation with a strong focus on data center future needs. He represents T Systems at various international conferences, including this one, is an author of technical papers and jury member for most innovative design data center solutions. T-Systems, uh, part of the Deutsche Telekom AG family, is one of the world's largest data center operators with over 80 data centers worldwide. Energy costs amount to over 50% of the overall OPEX, the DC 2020 project, which started to focus on energy efficiency and sustainability, and Rainer believes software-defined networking has the potential to show results in those areas. The title of his presentation is Data Center 2020. Ken Duda is founder, CTO, and VP of Software Engineering for Arista Networks. At Arista, Ken is responsible for the design and development of EOS, an extensible network operating system running on Arista's data center Ethernet switches. From 1999 to 2004, Ken served as CTO of virtual world startup There.com, designing and building a real-time 3D rendered distributed system. Ken's PhD project here at Stanford provided the software foundation for Granite Systems, which was acquired by Cisco in 1996, where Ken led the production of the software in the Catalyst 4000 Ethernet switches, a, 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 a flagship product for Cisco. Ken studied computer science and electrical engineering at MIT, receiving three degrees in 1993. I was lucky to have succeeded in getting one. Uh, and holds a PhD in computer science. Um, Ken's presentation was to be titled, The Data Center is Different, but he had a kind of an epiphany this morning and decided a more important contribution to this discussion at this conference would be to focus on how OpenFlow can improve the operation of virtual networks. Albert Greenberg, to his left, is a partner development manager in Windows Azure at Microsoft, where he is responsible for network virtualization, physical networking, and network monitoring. He pioneered the 4D and VL2 systems, which put forth ideas of control data plane separation and network virtualization that have become part of software-defined networking. Albert joined Microsoft Research in 2007, where he worked with Windows Networking, Windows Azure, Bing, and System Center uh, teams on those projects on data center networks, cloud service infrastructure, enterprise network management, and monitoring. Before he came to Microsoft, Albert was at Bell Labs and AT&T Labs Research, 
where he helped build the systems and tools used to engineer and manage AT&T's networks. His presentation will be titled, Manage the Data Center Network as We Do the Servers. And last but not least, Samrat Ganguly currently heads in NEC's open flow based products and solutions business is NEC Corporation of America. His focus is in building next generation scalable architectures for virtualized networks for the data center, uh, for data center enterprise and carrier networks. Dr. Ganguly comes from a research background with pioneering work in the area of large scale network and distributed systems while leading the network research group at NEC Laboratories, Princeton, uh, at Princeton. Samrat received his PhD from Rutgers University, an MS from the Indian Institute of Science, and a BS from the Indian Institute of Technology. His talk will be titled, Redefining Network Virtualization for Cloud and Data Center Networks in the Open Flow Environment. So that's our panel for this afternoon, and uh, I'm going to turn the podium over to Igor to uh, give his presentation. I'll be sitting in the front row there timing them because we want to kind of keep them on schedule so you can get some Q&A time later. Igor? Thank you very much. <laughs> 